recording made easy. So what's up, everybody? Uh, sorry. So what's up, everybody, and welcome to your next Java Made Easy tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about constructors. Now, the best way to explain a constructor it is uh, a special method. So much like the main method is a special me method, a constructor is a special method within a class. Well, uh, fairly simple. And we've already utilized the constructor, whether you knew it or not. Uh, when we said player equals to new player, this right here is a constructor that we used. Now, because we didn't actually specify a constructor, Java automatically creates a default one for you if you don't declare one yourself. Now, the constructor is the first thing that is called when you initialize uh, whenever you create a class. And so that's usually um, where you, this the constructor is usually where you initialize everything. And so let's create a class. We're gonna have um, we're gonna have private health. We're gonna practice good programming. We're gonna have good programming principles. We're gonna have our defense for a player, and we're just gonna have an attack power. Simple enough. Now, in order to actually create a constructor, it's simple. We don't put void. We don't put int. We don't do anything like that. In order to specify a constructor, it's just the class name. With parentheses and that's it and voila we just created the constructor and the constructor works just like a regular method so uh, well in most cases well for the most part it works like a, a regular method and so we can sorry I had to uh, check out something quickly uh, but so I believe I was just displaying um, general uh, the default values so we're gonna say health is equal to a hundred and we'll set our defense equal to say 10 or something and we're gonna set our attack power equal to um, 10 so note that the constructor is unlike a method a constructor can only uh, be called once right it's called when you actually initialize it that's why it's used to initialize uh, certain variables and yada 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 that's what it's been used for and if we try to say return something it you can use the return but it doesn't actually return a value right you can't actually return a value with um with the player constructor so or with a class constructor that's what i should say and so just like that we have uh we have initialized values in the constructor so as soon as we create that instance it's going to set these values like so so it's useful, it's beneficial, but uh, with just like with methods, constructors can also be overloaded as well. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have health, and we're gonna have defense, and we're gonna have attack power. Now we want to set this health equal to this health. How are we gonna do that? If we say health is equal to health, how does it know which health we're actually addressing? It doesn't know what health we're addressing. And this is why the this key this is where the this keyword comes in. So when we say this and we use a dot operator, we say we're referring to anything in this class instance. So we're gonna say, okay, we're saying this health, so we're talking about this particular health right here, is equal to health, and when we just say generic health, we're talking about health within these parameters. And if you ever get confused, uh if it would show me yeah so when you double click on it it will highlight which health you're actually referring to so when I double click this if it will show me yeah so it shows that I'm referring to the health inside this class and so this is what you do if if you want to refer to something within this class instance and so we say defense is equal to defense and we say this attack power is equal to attack power and voila so if I want to make a player and I want to have um, so if, wait you know what we're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna make a quick public method we're gonna say display values and I'm just gonna say health is equal to health um, we're gonna say defense 
is set to defense and let's say attack power is equal to attack power and that's what we're going to do to display everything so right here we're just going to call player dot display values and then we're going to say player or we're going to say player is equal to new player so we're going to create a new instance but in this case we're actually going to put default values now if you're using Eclipse if you click control and space it will show you the different options you have and you can double click that so you can see what's going in your parameters so we set the health to the defense set the attack power and then we're going to say display values as you can see when we run this program at first it calls a default constructor right here so it sets uh, 100 20 and 10 for the first one then the second one we we use the second constructor and we've set we set default values for it so we set 50 40 and 30 and so right then and there we initialize everything and it set our values for us so if you just want default values for a single player you could have that and if you wanted special values you could always call a new constructor to set in special values say an instance like where you would you could utilize this is that for example say a person is starting a brand new game if they're starting a brand new game their experience points everything is going to have a default value so that's when you might call the default constructor but say they're, they're they're loading a saved game then you might load in their data and call in the default constructor to pass in what their health was what their defense was what their attack power was and yada 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 and pass in those values so that's a real world example where you might actually utilize it one last thing is that just like with methods you can call methods within other methods and yada 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 you can use this you can use this constructor within this constructor but whenever you're calling a constructor within another constructor it has to be at the very top for example so in order to do it what we're going to do is we're just going to say this and we're going to pass in the default health the default defense what was it 20 and the default attack power so if they call the default constructor, it's going to say, okay, run this. It's going to say, run this constructor right here and just pass in the values right there. That's it. That's all it's saying it's doing. And uh, But if we try to do it after, if we try to say like health equals 10 and then we try to do this, we get an error. So it must be at the very top. So that's just an, uh, it's just an easier way about going about it. Instead of having to write it all three on three different lines, you could just... They all do the exact same thing. They all set the value, but in this case, it just sets the value that you pass in the parameters. So you just pass in the parameters the default values that you want, and then it calls it. So it's fairly simple, but that's that's optional. But just showing you, just in case you were curious about it. But that, anyways, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to like my page on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, and don't forget to sign up on my website. That's it, and bye for now.